someone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Ferelden's, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. We're getting into the city, one way or another. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay, we have gone and arrived at Kirkwall. Now, this is a city that we did not see in the game Dragon Age Origins because, well, that game took place entirely within the country or the kingdom of Ferelden. This is part of what they call the Free March. So I can't find a map of it in this game so far, but it is to the north of Ferelden across a, a small bay or a sea. And the Free Marches are basically a bunch of different cities or city-states which exist independently of each other and independently of the control of the larger powers of this world. So, well, this city culturally has some problems, and that's the kind of thing we're going to see once we get through the gates. But we have to get through the gates before. A lot of refugees fleeing for Elden from the Blight of the Darkspawn. At this point in the story, the Blight is still going on. The Darkspawn are still running across Ferelden, the Archdemon is still out there doing a lot of killing and stuff, and a lot of people are fleeing the destroyed cities and the Blight and the Darkspawn coming here. And, well, Kirkwall does not welcome the refugees. So let's try to get in. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> Our mages imprisoned here. Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Refuse? Oh, what a douche. Let us through the uh, front, though, but we're, we haven't really gone into the city proper. I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? Wow, look at this place. There's no real Tower of Magi here. They're usually built in the towers, or at least they were in Ferelden. This is more of a prison. Literally and, well, literally. 
Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. We came here to speak to our uncle, Gamlin Amel. And we won't leave until we do. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about it. We've been here for four days. They just got here. That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men! Here ah, shit. This is getting out of hand. Well, let's start killing these guys. <laughs> Deserters. There are Ferelden soldiers fleeing the blight. Oh wow, getting kind of dark there, bro. Oh, there are more of them. I gotta look up the keyboard shortcuts. I don't want to be clicking on everything. I was just standing there, not even watching the fight. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you alright? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Hmm, this must be him now. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. A drastic guide him. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. There are other ways to get into a city. That didn't turn out so well for those deserters earlier. I hate to agree, but there's a reason they housed us in an old prison. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt, I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. 
This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the Blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. No, we're not putting Mother through that. We'll find a way. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt... ...for a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. We cut down dozens of Darkspawn and an ogre to get here. That has to count for something. Unless you brought an ogre's head along on the boat, I doubt it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for. As long as it means we don't have to go back. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Camlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Okay, the... We can't get in. We gotta bribe our way through. But, uh... Oh, well. The stupid uncle went and lost all the fortune. Let's leave all these corpses here. That'll be fine. Just leave them there. It'll be good. It'll be fine. It seems like at this point in the game... Whichever side you choose is going to be pretty damn important. In reality, it doesn't have much of an influence on the rest of the game. Or at least I never really noticed it to. So, I don't give a crap who we really choose. Are uh, you a Senra? He must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. We can't afford to be choosy. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. It appears our uncle likes to talk. You're carrying a staff! Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. I'll find some other way into the city. Suit yourself. I'll be around for a bit, if you change your mind. Okay, that was the one. We'll go talk to the other just to see what they have to say. Oh, uh, the idea of our characters basically selling themselves into indentured servitude for a year sounds kind of screwy, but um, I guess it's just sort of a business arrangement, you know? Mirren. And you must be Hawk. Nice. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and 
keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense? I never pictured myself as the mercenary type. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said your sister's a mage. We're willing to pay for that. Uh, it's obvious she is a mage. Stop acting surprised. She's carrying a mage's staff on her back. It's taller than she is. Does everyone know about us? Your sister's not in the circle yet. Then probably not. You stick with us. You'll be safe. For a year, at least. My uncle doesn't seem like the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallop match. You turn out, we'll call it even. I'll find some other way into the city. Let me know how that works out for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go join up with the other one. Neither of them seem like the worst people in the world. But it is a little screwy that we're dealing with these people at all. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Hey, I can click and drag. Um, these are all elves. Now, just to point out this, the elves in this game have a very different uh, art style than the elves in the game Dragon Age Origins. In Origins, they had the pointed ears, maybe not quite as pronounced as that, but what the major differing factor between them and humans was the fact that they were pretty much just shorter. Now in this case the elves we have here the elves we have here are almost as tall as your your humans but they are a lot thinner. Their ears seem to be a little bit more pronounced and I don't know I, I'd like to th hold on let me uh, see if I can get a better view of them. It seems like their eyes are a little bit deeper set in their faces. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can. There you go. Her eyes are kind of deep set, or her uh, her nose. The bridge of her nose is very, very pronounced, and that seems to be a reoccurring thing with a number of look with the elves. Let's see. If we can, these guys aren't as detailed in their faces, but you can sort of see it there too. Their larger noses, the bridge of their nose is large, but they are very, very thin. Almost as tall as humans, or actually, you know what, she is as tall as Hawk is. Okay, yeah, the height difference, I guess, isn't significant. She's actually a little bit taller. Huh. Uh, very thin, though. And in the game, um, Inquisition, which is a sequel to this one, another change they made with the design of the elves is to have their eyes be a little bit larger. Uh, just enough to throw them straight in the uncanny valley, though, so it's kind of creepy. Change your mind? Or no? Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars, so they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. Jeez, zoom out. <laughs> We're zoomed way in. First quest, though, so... I've already told you. I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. 
There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Fereldans. Poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. Uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> she didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? I'm sure they'd rather not sell what little they have left. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. That is an ugly fellow there. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. <laughs> oh, you'll get some options occasionally to ask one of your companions to deal with the situation. In this case, I believe this is the first one. We could bribe him. We could try talking him through it. We could threaten him or... Hey, Aveline, deal with this. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Boom. Got some Aveline friendship out of that one. It's actually gone up a little bit when we first arrived in Kirkwall 2, although I don't quite understand why, because we basically told her, Leave your dead husband behind! Jeez, that was not a lot of money. That was, uh... I hope we can get into the city soon. I don't know what will happen if we have to go elsewhere. Uh, okay. So now we have to earn our way into the city. How hard can that be? We're in the process of doing it now. It's done. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Quest completed. Destruction of Lothering. Lothering's been destroyed for a while now. Uncle Gamlin is over here. And I'm going to end the episode, though. Because we're at the 24-minute mark. And, you know, that's how it goes. Any luck? It's done. I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Let's go. This is only the beginning. <laughs>